Hey all, Noah Waika here. I'm just here to make a short video on auto rotation with the advanced flight model in Arma. So what's cool about this advanced flight model is it accurately models rotor dynamics. So as you increase collective pitch, it'll do certain things to your rotor RPM and torque, which are really cool if you're trying to learn how to fly helicopters or if you're a real world helicopter pilot, you can kind of accurately model how you would handle certain things in flight. And it just adds another dimension to the game that's kind of cool. Um, before we get flying, let's talk about some instruments. So your main six here on your instrument cluster, the top left is your airspeed indicator. To the right of that is your artificial horizon or your attitude indicator. To the right of that is, of course, your altimeter. Um, below that is your vertical speed indicator. To the left of that is your horizontal situation indicator. And then the most important instrument for auto rotation is your rotor speed indicator. Um, as you can see, 110 to 90, kind of that arc there is your green zone where you want to maintain your rotor RPM so that you still have enough energy to flare out for that final landing. So let's stop really quick. I'm going to get the helicopter set up and we'll, uh, we'll fly a little bit. All right, so we're flying. Uh, the thing about auto rotation is it doesn't really work very well at low level. So as I spawn in here and, and uh, regain control, we're going to ascend to about 150 meters and um, we're just going to kind of fly straight level at right around 75 kilometers an hour. So I'm going to head right towards that beach since I know that I'm going to be performing an auto rotation. Um, some other situations you may not know this, but uh, for now, this is for a perfect world. And we're going to kill the engine. As you can see, I let my speed climb a little bit. Watching that rotor uh, RPM indicator, I'm basically just bottomed out on the collective. I'm headed towards the ground real quick, but my rotor RPM comes up. As I get close to the ground, I start to dump some of that energy into leveling out and flaring. And this one's going to be a little hard, but you can see we made it without an engine. So uh, what I did there as I was kind of talking through it is I was pulling the collective all the way back, uh, since this is a slider throttle in a real helicopter or if you have an actual collective control, you'll basically push that to the floor and you can watch the rotor RPM climb. Let's do that one more time. So I'll, uh, I'll go ahead and restart. All right, so we're transitioning from a hover here of increasing power and a little bit of forward pitch, just enough to bring us up. So auto rotations, like I said, don't work super well at low level, but if you watch that instrument on the lower left side of the control panel, I'll try to focus on it here as I'm sticking the rudder here, but uh, I'll try it at a little bit slower speed just to demonstrate. So with the advanced flight model, you should be good at flying straight and level or roughly straight and level. Uh, it's a little bit hard for me at the moment because I'm trying to talk and fly at the same time, but um, we'll slow it down and we'll, we'll reduce altitude. So there goes my engine. First thing I do, collective is all the way down and all the way back. And I start to fall, rotor RPM comes up, and I'm increasing collective just enough that I'm transitioning a lot of that energy to translational flight. So that was a little hard, we damaged it, probably won't fly again but we made it. So it's just a technique that you have to practice. Um, again, it's all about collective and RPM management. I'll show one more here, uh, just so you can kind of see what it looks like. All right, so we're at 100 meters, and we just had an engine failure. My collective goes all the way back. My pitch stays high. You can see my rotor RPM is about 100. As I get close to the ground, I'm just flying it like a normal helicopter, so just with a little bit more horizontal motion. So managing pitch. As I come in, and there we go, we're stopped. So that's how you fundamentally perform an auto rotation in Arma. Again, uh, the instrument that you're watching is this one here, your rotor RPM. You can see it's just falling now. But the zone that you really want it right before the ground is about 100 um, if you can. And then you're basically just going to fly it like you normally would. You're, you're trying to sink in as much energy as you can get on the way down. So that way uh, you can dump it back into the rotor as you're approaching the ground and you can give yourself a nice soft landing. So I hope that helped and uh, I'll see you in the next video.